Well, a moment ago, uh, and in a debate, excuse me, in a debate with, I believe his name is David Silverman, yes. a couple of years back, uh, and a moment ago in your answer to a gentleman just a few questions before me, you advocated a view known as Molinism. Yeah. My question is, how do you get that from the Bible? Because God even says he uses, I um, can't remember which group it is, as an axe in his hand against the Israelites. He uses their wicked actions for his good, mm -hmm. for his glory. How do you get the view of Molinism out of that, him using wicked actions and him using people's evil choices for himself? Well, I'd have to look at the context of the passage you're talking about. I don't know what you're referring to, but God can get his will done even through the evil acts of people. That certainly is true. In fact, you can look at, say, uh, Genesis chapter 50, where Joseph of the Old Testament is sold into slavery earlier in the book by his brothers, and then somehow he rises to prominence in Egypt, and his family flees Israel to try and escape a famine. They come to Egypt looking for food. Joseph has all this food stored up, and he's in a position of power. He could have looked down at him and said, you guys sold me into slavery. Now you're going to pay. I'm going to take vengeance. He doesn't say that. What he says is, what you meant for evil, God meant for good, the saving of many lives that is happening right now. So God can turn evil into good. Yes, my question is, how do you get that out of a Molinistic system where you have God looking through the options and saying, you know, this is the one where the most people come to me or the ratio will be right. How do you get? Well, Molinism basically means that God knows all counterfactuals. It comes from a, 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 a for those of you who don't know, a theologian by the name of Molina who said he's trying to resolve the, the, the free will predestination problem. And he says, God knows all counterfactuals. He knows how you would act in a certain set of conditions and how you'd act in a certain, another set of conditions. I don't see why anything in the Bible would prevent God from doing that. In fact, there are even passages in the Bible which seem to affirm that. Like, for example, when Jesus said, if these miracles were done in this town, they would have repented. In other words, he knows the counterfactual as to what happened. So I think God, being all-knowing, knows all different scenarios of how we'd react under different circumstances. Okay, and how come that system was only developed 1,500 years after the New Testament? I don't know why that would be a pride. I think it's in the New Testament. It might be that someone first recognized it 1,500 years later, just like John Calvin. I mean, John Calvin's 1,500 years after the New, New Testament, too. He's the one talking about it. Augustine, of course, talked about it in the 400s AD. But people analyzing the scriptures come up with different doctrines all the time, and you have to evaluate, no matter when they emerged, whether or not they're true. Yes, thank you. All right, good question, Jackson. Thank you.